shellfish, 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 again, you shellfish. Oh, you know what? This is wonderful. Ni hao ma? Today, we're going to make a shellfish feast that is quick and easy, and my way to pay respect to the sea. Here, we have some really wonderful shellfish here. Everybody's favorite. This is from uh, the northeastern North America, Boston, uh, Nova Scotia, a lot of these lobster. Dungeon is from the west coast. And this is from the middle of nowhere. Now, you know, it's like a shell, a, a shell game. Here, put it here, put it here. Huh? Nobody knows. When are you gonna stop? Whoa, look at this, all of these. You know what? I'm gonna put this in here. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. This is a wonderful shelf. You know why? Because the first dish I'm gonna do is the stuffed jumbo prawn. And one of my favorite, you know, you go to Chinese restaurant, they have this dish and a lot of menu, and I love it, okay? And then what you have to do is, you get all of these stuffing, filling, ready first. You have to open it and fill the shrimp. Green onion, this is how easy it is. You press this, and you go like this, and you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, huh? Huh? And let me tell you and teach you how to say chong in Chinese. Uh, green onion, chong. Oh. That's green onion. And then you go. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Marvelous. And in fact, if you have a food processor or chopper, by all means, do it. This is just happened to be a cordless food processor. Okay, you put them all together, and then the same thing, okay? The same thing with garlic, okay? Because I want to make sure we have garlic, okay? Also, minced garlic. You put it right over here, and you get hey, minced garlic. Huh? Hey, minced garlic again. And then, once again, okay. This is garlic and also ginger. We have garlic, ginger, and everything. And then we're gonna make a special dressing, okay? This is dressing, it's not really dressing, it's a filling, we'll put it in the shrimp. We have green onion, ginger, garlic, right here, okay? And then we have a tiny bit of pepper and a tiny bit of salt, okay? And then a tiny bit of fish sauce because we're doing shellfish, fish sauce. And then a tiny bit of oil, not much, just enough, okay? That's all you need. And a tiny bit of, oh, how many like kind of spicy food? Everybody. This is la chiu jeong, everybody, la chiu jeong. That means chili sauce. Xin yong la chiu jeong, garlic chili sauce. And a tiny bit of season, xin yong la chiu jeong. If you can say all of this in one, in, in, in one sentence, you are very good. You know, it took me four years to learn to say xin yong. Oh, you are fast. When this is all nice and done, we're gonna show you, this is gonna be the filling, okay? Look at all the shrimp we have. We have the colossal, colossal, colossal. Big jumbo, this is jumbo. This is large, this is medium, this is small. And then sometimes you can also buy the baby one. The baby one is gone. We use it for the other dish. And then what you have to do is, this is how you do it. When you have a shrimp this big, the first thing you do is, you start one, on one side, and you remove the lick, you see this? With a scissor, okay? You can even do it like this, remove this. And then you use the scissor again. You go like this, like this, like this, like this. Very simple, like this, like this, okay? You open this up, and then you can devein this. Oh, look at this. We can devein this. Open this up like this. Now, I want to make sure this doesn't, huh? Look at this. Cut it up, cut it up, cut it up like this. This way, when you steam them, they won't curl up, okay? In the meantime, I'm getting the steam already, okay? And then, I'm going to show you. We have a couple of things already cut up. We open this up. We open this up. We're going to fill this up, okay? Fill this up like this. This is very good. This is a, like a pesto. 
a Chinese pesto, okay? Oh, the wonderful flavor is right here. Very easy to do, okay? Very fine, very easy. And then you put them all together like this. One and two and then another one. So this way, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put all of these here. Oh, I'm gonna put a tiny bit more, tiny bit more. I love it. How much can you put in? A lot, because this is good. I'm gonna put this over here and let it steam until they're cooked. Uh -huh. Next, we'll take a trip to the seaside of Taiwan. <laughs> Whoa, smells good. Look how beautiful this is. This the aroma of the ginger, garlic, and green. It really is perfumey. Why I'm still cooking and steaming the stuffed jumbo prawn. I'm gonna show you how to do a wonderful black pepper crab with butter, okay? Now, this crab is already freeze and now no longer live, okay? So don't worry, okay? So what you do is, this is how the Chinese do it. You hold on to this. Hold on to this like this, and just hold on to this crap. The whole thing comes out like this. Come out like this, and then you use this scissor. You see, this is the lung of the crab. You remove the lung from the crab, okay? You throw them away. The lung, this is the lung. This is the lung. You don't want it, okay? And then you also remove this, okay? Remove these, and remove these. Okay, and then you use the knife. Cut it, ah, cut it in half, okay? Remove these, and then you twist this, okay? And then you cut this, one, two, and then three, and then four, okay? Four, and then you crack this with this knife. This is how you do it, and you cut this in half. And that's all you have to do, just cut it up. No matter where I am in the world, cooking shellfish always remind me of the ocean. Come with me now to a place where the salt water breeze is as fresh as the seafood itself. Jilong Harbor on Taiwan's northern coast, not far from Taipei, is one of the busiest seaports in all of Taiwan. I would say it is the most beautiful too. And just up the coast, it gets even more beautiful. The ocean breeze sure feels good. I'm here at the Yaliu Scenic Seashore. Ah, this is a natural museum with a collection of all these nature's masterpiece. It's like a huge sculpture garden made of volcanic rock and sandstone, carved by the wind and the waves and all kinds of amazing shapes. Some look like gigantic mushrooms, and some even look like famous people. Hey, there is Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France. And I'm going to give the Queen a little kiss. Hey, she's probably thinking, let them eat seafood. In the Jilong Harbor, not only you see a lot of fresh seafood, but also you can expect a lot of the preserved seafood like this, anchovy, Little baby squid, shrimp, dry oyster, look at that. You can keep it in a dry place for months up to a year. They also use different kind of cuttlefish, squid to make a lot of snack. You dry them, you flavor them. Mmm, wonderful. Look at all this freshly prepared ingredient. This is what makes it quick and easy for the chef in the kitchen. Everything is already clean, cut up, and ready to go. Frog leg, fish ball, uh, sea cucumber, whoa, sea slug or sea snail, everything is ready. Now, talk about live seafood, look at this. It is still live and jumping, look at that. Mm. And talk about quick and easy. All it takes is a splash of rice wine. And that's why they're called drunken prawn. At least their life has a happy ending. Fresh ginger slices, when it's cooked, it's turned really beautifully pink. It should not smell fishy, it smells like ocean breeze. That is fresh seafood. The meal is ready. Put this in this beautifully garnished plate. Oh, look at that. 
Mm. I'm going to share this with my shop proprietor owner, Miss Lee. Mm. Amazingly fresh and amazingly delicious. Every day, the Buddhist monk here ring this giant bell to start any major activity such as meditation. The sound of the bell reminds us peace or tranquility. This is the temple of Guan Yin, the goddess of mercy, and her giant stature dominates the skyline of Jilong. The goddess Guan Yin teaches us not only to have compassion for individuals, but to all. And I like that. Look at all these beautiful handcraft stone sculptures. These are the 18 immortals in Buddhism. They help to protect the temple ground. You have heard of a ghost town, right? Well, this is a ghost temple. But don't worry, it is not haunted. This is what is called an offering station. In the seventh month of the lunar calendar, what they call All Souls Month. People come here, make offerings to the ghosts of their ancestors, and they open a little gate in the temple to symbolically let the ghosts out of the underworld. They can roam around all month, and then all the ghosts have to return to the temple and will lock them up again, so they only have one month vacation to enjoy themselves. Here in the Kaohsiung Night Market, the merchants perform rituals to get advice from the ghosts of their own ancestors as well as the homeless ghost, the spirits with no home to return to. On the seventh month of the Chinese lunar calendar, there's a lot of ghosts roaming around. We offer them a banquet, all the foods. They're still very hungry. Hey, no worry. Look at all the food that we have right there. This is enough to feed 5,000 homeless, hungry ghosts. It is like Halloween or Mexico's Day of the Dead, a giant banquet with deep religious roots that remind us to honor the memory of our ancestors and the message behind it all. Life is short, let's eat. Let's enjoy life. Hey, chopstick, please. Gumby, Gumby! They are serving 20,000 people around here tonight. Oh, let's drink to it. Here is to the homeless, hungry ghost. Now, this is a continuation for the salute to the sea. Now, here I have some lobster tail. You know, shrimp in Chinese is ha. Long ha is lobster. Long is dragon. Let's repeat after me. Long ha is long ha. Long ha. That means lobster. I'm going to do a Cantonese flavor lobster. I have cut this side already, okay? And I'm going to cut the other side, okay? And then I remove these, and I pull the whole thing out. Okay, pull the whole thing out. You know what? You should not even flow this way. You can put in stock pot. It makes really nice, wonderful stocks, okay? And then I'm going to cut this up into little chunks. Cut it up, beautiful pieces. Cut it up, large chunks. This is Cantonese flavor. When I was growing up, or in fact, you go to a lot of Cantonese restaurants, Always, always have lobster, Cantonese style, or not lobster sauce, but lobster with a lot of wonderful green onion. And lobster can be very quick and easy because you can buy lobster tails, so you don't have to buy the, this is frozen lobster. You, can, you don't have to worry about cutting the whole lobster, live lobster yourself. I'm gonna marinate this with a tiny bit of pepper, salt. You know that I did not use any soy sauce when I marinate because I don't want to stain the color, okay? This is going to be good. Marinade, marinade. At the most, you can put a tiny, tiny bit of, ah, wine, okay? Now, you can stir fry this, or you can oil blanch this. Why oil blanch? This is another way for quick and easy. I'm going to quickly oil blanch this. That means when the oil is about 325 degrees, 350 degrees, I oil blanch this. Why I'm oil blanching this? I'm going to make the lobster sauce, okay? Oh, look at this. 
I'm going to let it oil branch, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to make the sauce. This is black bean, salted black bean. First you do is rinse this, okay? And then you use your knife to crush it a little bit and break it up a little bit. And then the idea of oil branching is every single piece is cooked simultaneously for the same amount of time. They cook for life. This is how the Chinese chef do it in the restaurant. Oil blanching technique, make it quick and easy. That means you can do it ahead of time. And then here, I'm gonna have a tiny time, make a sauce, okay? Oh, here, I am gonna make the sauce. Just to show you how fast you can do this, okay? Have a tiny bit of garlic, ginger, green onion. This is the sauce, Cantonese style. You go to a lot of Chinese restaurants, you will see this particular dish. Black beans, okay? Whoa, black beans. Toss it, toss it, toss it. Look at how fast is it. This is done. And I put this right in here, put the already oil branch lobster. Oh, look at this. And then a tiny bit of sesame seed oil and a tiny bit of extra black bean sauce. Black bean sauce is Tao Si Zheng. Mmm, Tao Si Smell it. Pass it around. Smell really nice. Pass it around, everybody. And then put a tiny bit of wine. Oh, beautiful. Whoa! Look at that, huh? And then put a tiny, tiny bit of broth. And then, you know what? We're going to thicken this up very fast. You know what? Whew. You know what? This whole Cantonese lobster is already. And then you can. Play this right over here. Look at how beautiful. Wah! Look at that. And then we make it look beautiful. Ah, look at the beautiful. Ah, look at that. You know what? This is the dish that we're gonna make, you know? Next, my black pepper butter crab that cooks up so quickly. It will be your new seafood favorite. Ah, salute to the sea, cooking with shellfish, that's what I'm doing. I'm dusting the crab which I have already shelled and cut and cracked, okay? And then make sure my hand is nice and clean, okay? Wow, this is gonna be good. Why you have dusted? Because there's a lot of liquid coming out. Otherwise, it will splash all over the place, okay? So the first thing you do is heat up this, okay? And put some garlic and ginger right here. And a tiny bit of black pepper and a tiny bit of, oh, butter, okay? And then, when this is all nice and in, you toss this, it smells so good, is it? Hung means smells good, okay? I'm making this black pepper butter crap. I'll put this right over here, okay? And then I'll put a tiny bit of broth. Oh, and wine. And then fish sauce. Oh, and then I put this all right here and we'll cover this up. You know what? We are going to show you how beautiful this is going to be when we are ready. Ah, you remember our stuffed jumbo prawn? Whoa, look how beautiful. Woo, so good. Ha, 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 ha. And then we'll use this to pick this up and put it right over here. Look at this beautiful, okay? And then this is how you use it. Or you can do it like this. And then. Look at how beautiful this is. We're gonna put this right over here. Look at how beautiful this is, huh? Look at that, huh? Mmm, this is absolutely beautiful. And then we will put this like a seaweed, red seaweed, put it right in the middle. Look at how beautiful. And then, ah, let me show you. We have a little knife, and I cut this over here, and I push this right over here. Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful this is. This is a beautiful dish. Oh, look at that. I put it right over here. In the meantime, you know, ha is shrimp in Chinese, right? Long ha is Chinese for lobster, okay? Lobster, and lo not lobster, lobster table is mei, okay? When this is almost ready and done, I'm gonna show you how fast. Look at it, it doesn't take too long to cook. Whoa, look at that. It is uh, basically, oh, you know what? How many you like wine? Zhao. Oh. Put them all together. And then you're gonna serve these. Look at this. I have this right here, and I have these right here. I put them all back like a whole crab. I put this whole piece, this whole piece right here, right in the middle, okay? And then I put this piece right here, 
this piece right here, and then all this limb, put it back right here, right here. Mmm, this is gonna be beautiful. Look at this. Ah, uh, mmm. And then put it right, and you know what? Whoa, put it right here. Ah, uh, look at how beautiful this is. This is what we have here. Beautiful crap. You know what? We put it right over here, and we garnish this, and it's a wonderful dish. If Yan can cook easy dishes from the sea, so can you. Jai Jian. Today's tip, the magic stick, chopstick. Normally, Chinese use a chopstick to serve food. Mmm, you eat with. Good serving, too. You also use a chopstick as a stirring stick. Oh, beat up your egg. Ah, uh, mix things. That's how you do it. Ah, uh, how about using a chopstick to do stir fry? There's a stir fry too. When you stir fry, you turn around. Look at that. This is good. Ah, chopstick is also very good. That's a deep frying too. When you deep fry one ton and egg roll and all kind of stuff, you put it in. Ah, look at this. And then you use a stick. You stir them around. Make sure they are evenly cooked. How about a chopstick? That's a steaming too. <laughs> You put the chopstick, tick, tick, do. Look at that. One pair this way, one pair this way. Mm. You put this right over here, and this is how you steam, okay? When you steam this, it is I like a steam rack. And this, you cover up, and perfectly wonderful. And then, in fact, this is all ready. We'll pick this out. We'll pick this out. And in fact, you can even use your chopstick to pick them out. This is how easy it is. Today, what we're talking about is this magic chopstick.